Welcome to the Homeschool Together podcast. Where one working mom and a stay-at-home dad help you navigate the nuts and bolts of the growing and dynamic world of homeschooling. With a focus on early learners. Like me! All the ins and outs of building and maintaining your homeschool life. Homeschool! Find out tips and tricks to make things like this easier. I'm reading! And ultimately, enjoy educating your kids. And what's that last thing? Have fun together! Did I do good, Daddy? (laughs) Yeah, you did, sweetie. Good job. Thank you again for joining us on Homeschool Together podcast. Before we begin, if you could go down to the show notes, find out how you can connect with us on Facebook and Instagram, check out our resource guide, really helpful to new kindergartner homeschooling families. Um, And if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a review, it would be really nice if you could do that. Mm -hmm. Today, we have a tasty treat. Something super tasty from you. Yeah. Well, and, occasionally, and it's kind of like a birdie bot's every and, flavor bean. And I'm looking at it. It's from Russia with love. <laughs> tasty, true. tasty chocolate love. Yeah. So what we're talking about today is what what are referred to as boxes, uh, uh, monthly boxes. Subscription. Subscription, Subscription. boxes very, very often. The first one that we're going to talk about today is universal yums. And so, Ariel, what is universal yums? Well, it is a subscription box that you get every month with tasty snacks, mostly tasty. Like I said, it can be a Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Bean, you know? Mm-hmm. Occasionally, we had mayonnaise potato chips last month, so which well, was listen, surprisingly good. The mayonnaise but, potato chips were not bad. They just tasted like regular Lay's potato chips. Yeah, they chips. did. It was more the concept of the mayonnaise potato chips. Anyways. It was so, definitely the last thing we ate. <laughs> Universal Yum's subscription box is a, a monthly box that includes snacks from a specific country around the world. So we've done three months now, so we felt like like we'd done enough that we could report back to all of you. Uh, our first month we did was Egypt. Egypt, yep. Yes. And then we just did Colombia, and now we are on to Russia. So there's a couple different subscription box sizes. We've mm. got the fifteen dollar a month, and I think it includes like seven snacks or so. Yeah. Again, this is no advertisement or anything like that. This is no, something we, we didn't get compensated. But if Universal Yums is would like to kick me a little bit of money because I mean this chocolate stuff is pretty I, I really just want you to send huh? me more of those Colombian coffee. The Colombian the, the coffee oh. chocolates. Oh god, they were like a cappuccino I, in my mouth. I don't it know was about amazing. You. I fell in love with the Egyptian for be- lack of a better name, the ketchup potato chips. Oh yeah, they were like ketchup cheesy poofs. Ketchup cheesy poofs. Anyway. We're getting we're, we're being sidetracked by our. Stomachs. I would love just an extra boxes of Universal Yum. So <laughs> you have you have options depending on the size of your family. We've done the lowest uh, option, which mm-hmm. I think is really great. You know, you get seven snacks. It's fifteen bucks. Includes the shipping. Um, well, and it comes in a little box. I mean, probably about eight eight inches long, mm-hmm. wide, and it's like almost like a little lunch box. If you could think of it as something like a little Tupperware right. lunch box, but it comes in a cardboard box. They pack it full of a ton of little things. I mean, why don't you go through the list of what what we got this week? This uh, right. This so weekend. and this is Russia. the lowest level. Uh, there are if you have a larger family, yeah. there are larger levels that have more. But uh, and, just and, to give yeah. you an example, so inside the box you'll find a couple things. Uh, one, you will find a scorecard for your yums, which we love to do with our daughter, and it's great practicing for writing numbers because Mm -hmm. we score on one to five and we uh, have a note for everyone in the family, including the baby and what she thinks of each yum. Tends to track right along with the (laughs) five-year-old. It It is very funny to watch the five-year-old very carefully look at the baby like she's like, you know, Chef Gordon Ramsay thinking about how is this baby interpreting this food? Uh, Right. She really watches. It's fun. So we share everything as a family. We each get a bite of something. So, um, so you get this scorecard, you get to score, you'll find out about some more yums that uh, didn't make it in the box that just, you know, for more information, uh, and then vote on an upcoming yum. And then you're going to get a little booklet, which includes some uh, interesting stuff about the culture of the country. So this one's Explore Russia and gives you some different information. There's a, usually a recipe. This one is Make Beef Stroganoff. So there's a recipe there, a little bit of trivia about the country. And then it basically has a journey and says, okay, start here and go through the box in this order. So in this box today, we got ripe 
pear milk chocolate, which is a rich milk chocolate with ooey gooey pear filling. That sounds really good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got Savetsky cheese potato chips made with absurdly addictive Russian cheese. <laughs> uh, boiled milk and chocolate cake uh, crafted by Russia's most famous chocolatier. And then we got candy store staples, a uh, white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer, which is a luscious hazelnut cream in a sugar cone shell. Oh, I love hazelnut. Well, sugar it, cone shell had me, mm, you had me at sugar cone ooh, shell. It's like Nutella. I love it. Uh, exotic fruit jellies, which is ripe mango, black currant mint, and strawberry pepper. Ooh, strawberry pepper. That'll be interesting. Yeah, there, we found this a couple of times where we, there's some very odd combinations. It's and so they work though. Yeah, but they do, and and it's funny how like a lot of times when we're eating these, we're tasting these treats, we're we're trying to like, you know, oh that t- kind of tastes like a Milky Way or that, you know, right? We're trying to equate it to something that we know, and yeah. and sometimes there'll be something so off the wall that we're just like, I, it's like the the ketchup. The ketchup poofs, for the example, ketchup, they, they kind of looked, they they had that kind of large snake type appearance of a cheesy poof, um, but they were actually a tomato flavored from Egypt yeah. and they were, they were like a ketchup poof. Well, and what, you know, just as an aside, they talked about where a little bit about, you know, the fact that Egypt grows a lot of tomatoes under mm-hmm. greenhouses and they talked about what city it was. It was like the tenth of Ramadan. Tenth day of Ramadan city, city. Yeah, which was, is a whole city name I didn't know. Yeah, and but we actually went on Google Maps. We pulled up the iPad, went on Google Maps, and we actually zoomed into the area. And I was able to find the greenhouses on the north side of the city. Yeah, and we zoomed all the way in. And I said, "Hey, you know, this is where those tomatoes are grown that you know have been dried and then sprayed onto a cheesy poof that we are eating right now." And right. it was like it was really fun to kind of connect. You know, in the kind of like a really abstract way, the, you know, the food that you're eating to the location. It was really cool. Yeah, it was. It was really neat. Um, we so we do also have in this box Ooh, coconut. Back to, back to the Russian tasty treats. Yeah, yes, yes, keep yes. going. Coconut and white chocolate hazelnut balls, a creamy, nutty luxury. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And again with the hazelnut, I these you know, people I, have my vote. It's it's actually very funny. I, we've noticed a lot of trend of hazelnut kind of treats, and a lot of these yum treats are kind of candyish. They're kind of dessert. So things. well, it's anything that would be considered like a, a snack. snack. So uh, it's anything that's not perishable, that so, kind of thing. So we're talking Seven Eleven on the shelf. In Russia. I guess so. I guess so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bolet mushroom bread bites. Taste Russia's award winning wild mushrooms. Maybe maybe not. That sounds wild a little bit mushrooms. more that sounds a little bit okay. more gourmet, yeah. So uh and then nuts and milk chocolate wafer, Russia's softest, nuttiest, cakiest wafer. So each of these it tells you where they're from. Like this last one was from Stari Oskal. Um the mushroom, the wild mushrooms are from Siberia. The uh, coconut and white chocolate hazelnut balls are from Sochi. So they give you an idea of where everything's from. And they tell you a story about uh, why they chose it, that uh, this is a a really famous Mm -hmm. uh, treat in Russia. Mm -hmm. And here's why. And, you know, this is the background on it. It does give you all the ingredients in case you have any um, allergens or anything, because everything is in original packaging. So we've noticed a lot of a lot of nuts. And so if you do have a nut thing. Yeah, you I don't may, think you this may is want to be concerned about allergy. this type of yeah. This yeah, may not there's... be friendly to that. But they they also had some selections online, did they not? Yeah, you can them? also go online and order specific yums, even if you are not a subscription holder. So if you do have a nut allergy and you still want to taste some things from around the world, they basically take the their favorites from each country's each month, and they put those online to the website. Except not those cappuccino creams that i loved but from um, colombia yeah from colombia oh they were so good but everything else they they have on the website that you can buy so uh and all the nutrition facts are here all of the ingredients because uh this is in all the original packaging mm-hmm. which i think is another really terrific thing right so yeah. everything I mean, is in yeah, I mean, i'm looking at a, a bag of potato chips and it is in all you know the russian characters and you, know, you can't read anything that's in there. Right. I don't know any of the ingredients or sizes. I mean, it's, it's like you just pulled it off the shelf in Russia. Like they, yeah. Like n- I, I could have, I could have had brought this back in my suitcase from a trip to Russia. It's really terrific. Um, Although the mushroom croutons are in English. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, so, so that's what you get in the box. Um, first of all, 
basically all the yums have been, there's only been a couple things that we didn't really care for. What we've noticed more than anything is some of the stuff in the other countries is, is a little bit blander than we're used yeah, to. Yeah, not I've, quite as sweet or not quite as salty. I've noticed this with a lot of, when, when I was, was traveling, when I was still working back in the, the, the olden days, um, that it is a kind of common that American sweets and treats are a little bit sweeter than normal. So right. do expect more savory treats. Like you get the more, like with you, with the coffee stuff in Colombia or the hazelnut um, uh, treats that we we were having, it was it was more savory than actually like powerfully sweet. It's not like a Snickers bar or like right. some candy or something like that. It's, Even their candies were incredibly sweet. Yeah, they weren't overly sweet. Like you would you would expect you know a candy to be like crusted a little bit in sugar, and they just don't do that. And right, so, it's not as much. So with the way that we use the box, obviously we we are going to be starting to study around the world. If you listen to the podcast, um, in any length, we're going to be starting that with our daughter in a few months. We can't decide what month we get when. So yeah. we're not saving these. We're just opening them as they come. It's super exciting. They send you an email when your yum box is, has shipped. So my daughter's like waiting every day, going to the <laughs> mailbox, looking for the yum box. It's very exciting. Even though it's, we're, we're not holding it to, to use it with a specific country that we're studying in other ways. It is enriching, and uh, every night after dinner, it's that's the first thing that I mean, we do. It's an event. We we get the yum box, and we go to the next one, and we and we all taste it. And what I think has been so incredible is that our daughter has changed. Not that she was a super picky eater before, but mm -hmm. she was definitely very hesitant to try things. So I think if you have a picky eater at home, I would highly encourage this because she's so excited about it. And she really doesn't know what it is. We read the description and she's like, okay, yeah, she yeah. tried, she's <laughs> tried everything that we've gotten and she hasn't liked all of it, yeah. but she tastes it and she kind of, she thinks about it and she goes, oh, that kind of tastes like this. Or, uh, I think that I, I think I like this or yeah, no, maybe this one's not for me. She's, she's have, she's growing a more discerning palate mm -hmm. through eating through the yum box, which is great because then it's translated into other things when we, there's something new that her grandparents are, have made or that I've made or a restaurant, uh, you know, I'll say, Hey, do you want to try this? Sure, mommy. Yeah, I'll try that. Or, you know, once in a while I'll say, you know, it's just like the yum box. Let's give it a try. You know, we can reference back to it. Right. And, it's you know, really helped. this comes once a month. So it has to last 30 days. For us, most of the time, it lasts about seven or eight days because there's about seven or eight things in the box. Right. And we try to do one a day and sometimes we'll skip a day. So if you can go like every other day, you can really extend the yum box out you and can. feel like you're, you know, you're not eating it all in one week or one day. And then you have to wait a long time. So it's, if you can, if you can meter it out a little bit more, you can enjoy the the experience of the yum box, mm -hmm. you know, over the period of the month. It's basically like two dollars a snack. Yeah, which is what we would pay if we were gonna go out to a convenience store and get a snack. I mean, not that and, we do, and, but and that's if you what guys are, do. you know, if, if you have a family that's like, well, we don't want to eat as much dessert and sit down with ice cream or whatever every night, you know, this is a great way to get a little, like kind <laughs> of a true. little micro amuse-bouche dessert, you know, right. type of thing. And, you know, to, to skip the larger desserts if you're trying to get away from that or... You know, if you have a family member that's a little is working on, you know, a weight issue or something like that, this is a nice little, you know, little thing that you can taste and try and, and, and kind of incorporate as your normal meals. Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, and with the, this box, we get, you know, seven or eight things. With the larger box, if you want to get, I think it's like 30 items. Yeah. Um, and it's not duplicates of what's in here. It's more different. So you could have, if you wanted to do one snack every night for the whole month, or one snack every day, you certainly could do that with this. Um, and there's quite a few additional things in there. So it's been fun. I think it's been fun too because you know, we all gather around if we've got a little piece of chocolate, we take out the knife, we split it into four <laughs> little pieces and everybody gets their piece and we all sample it. It reminds me of when we were in Belgium Mm -hmm. We went we went to Europe on a kind of a last hurrah before we we got pregnant with our first daughter and we Hold were on. in Belgium. Hold on. Let's let's let the music play. Do, 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 <laughs> as we go back in our memories. <laughs> it was uh... wonderful. So we were we were in Bruges, which is a, a medieval town in Belgium, and it's it was gorgeous and we stopped in this um chocolates here because when in Belgium, right? You get waffles and chocolates and they were both amazing. Um but we got all these different chocolates and we didn't know they were all truffles. So we didn't know what was inside any of them. And 
we, we took out all these truffles and, and I was like, well, I don't want to miss out on any of that. You said, I don't want to miss out. So every truffle, we cut them all in half. <laughs> and so we each got to have, and we both got to experience this together. Something about experiencing the same thing at the same time. And so it's kind of what we're doing here too, right? Yeah, she's tasting it and she's saying, oh, I think that this tastes a little bit like, has a hint of like nuts or this or whatever. And we're saying, oh, I think maybe it's this. And we're having this discussion about and, and, what it tastes like. And the baby's like. squawking for more. Right. The baby yeah. likes it all. And she loves um, it all. So, but that's, that's great. It's yeah. really developed her palate. Well, it's a great way to kind of bring us all together and kind it of have is. an experience together. You know, especially you know, when you can't travel, especially right now. <laughs> when you can't travel right now, it's a really nice thing where you can kind of close your eyes or if you really want to up the ambiance, you could throw on some music from that, that country. And then like, yeah, you know, or do a flyover or, you know, the sounds of a cafe in Moscow or something like that. Right. And then we can all pretend like we're there and have the little treat. And it's just, you know, it's just a little experience. Just try to liven up our daily, you know, experience yeah, and learning. We, we have loved it. I, yeah, I mean, it's, it has been really fun. It's worth every bit we, of $15 we, we, a month. Well, when we did it, we said, oh, we're going to try the one month and we, you know, we'll just turn it off after the <laughs> after the first month. If we don't like this, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm like looking for the option. Is there a prepay for is there the a year prepay for, option? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it's something that we yeah. really love. Uh, we highly encourage you to look into it. It's a great way to experience other cultures with your family, do something that it's all together that's totally different. You you have no control over what arrives in this box. You get it and it's it's a kind of a wonderful surprise and it has made our our daughter a much less picky eater. So, all good things. All good things. Yeah. And the other thing I like about it too is that it's something that comes in the mail and maybe we'll do a podcast about this in the future about, you know, having things come in the mail for our daughter has been a, a cool experience, you know, whether it's the highlights or mm -hmm. another uh, subscription box we'll talk about. Well, right. And I think this is really the first yeah. in a series that we'll do about like subscriptions. Kind of subscription, mail oriented. We're trying a few other yeah. things and uh, we, we want to get far enough into each of them that we can, we can speak we can confidently. Recommend it or recommend not recommend, or recommend, yeah. recommend. Yeah. But um, this was the first one that's like uh no decision needed. Well, this it, is great. <laughs> it, it's an arrow straight through our, our hearts. You know, we, oh, we, we are food. we're foodies ourselves, and so yeah. we we love tasting different foods and and having those experiences. And you know, with the times of COVID, it's it's difficult. So I, I agree with you. It's it's a great way to kind of quote, you know quote unquote get away in our mind of you know, tasting you know foreign things and kind of having that hopeful experience. You know, with our daughter, you know, we took her to Spain when she was young, but she was so young she couldn't she can't remember yeah, any of it. Of it. And so you know, hopefully one day we can get back out there and, and travel with her again. And this is kind of like that little intermediary point. And I think that the more that we do this, when we are allowed to travel again, mm -hmm. she will try. Yeah. She will be much less hesitant, right? I, I think it's exciting to get it in the box. And I think she feels like already, it almost already has her seal of approval just mm -hmm. because it made it into the box. Well, if it comes in the yum box, well, it's got to be and good. It, and it came to, for her, right? right it's it got came, her name on it. Right. It's got all that stuff. And, and when she goes and gets the mail, she's, oh, my yum box is here. And she starts freaking out and yelling and jumping. And, and Right. She's so excited to get into yeah. it. And I think that that's, you know, when, when we can travel – she's going to she's yeah. going to try and so that's great if we can foster uh, this palette in her at this age that's just going to make our lives easier going forward and it's going to open up worlds to her i think the only problem with the young bobs my my only problem with it laid out laid out well some of the stuff is really delicious and i can't just go down and buy it <laughs> so and, like i said i I literally tasted this chocolate from Colombia and was like, I would buy a huge box of that, right? And I I don't know where it, it wasn't on in their like little list of curated things that they sell separately um, on the Universal Yum site. So I'm just, I, now I'm left like discovering something that you love and not being able to get it. So I guess we have I, to go to Colombia. I can hear the people now. Matt, take notes, stocking stuffers for your wife. <laughs> Writes it down on my notepad here. Yeah, yeah. Colombian coffee Columbian chocolate. Colombian special oh coffee stuff. Gosh, for so, okay. good. <laughs> so I guess that's the only thing is if you find something that you really like, it may be a challenge to get that again. I, I mean, depending, that's, your mileage may vary. But that's the experience, right? You had that one thing, you always remember it. And it's kind of fun. So if you guys are looking for something to kind of liven up uh, your experience, if it's kind of getting a little dull or you want to kind of you know, spur of the moment, excitement of traveling to a new country, trying new foods, definitely take a look at the Yum Box. 
it's a it's been a great experience for us. So we highly recommend it if you want to incorporate this into your you know monthly repertoire. Right, and if you plan to do uh, some sort of around the world studies coming up, you can always subscribe to the Yum Box and then hold on to those boxes. Everything in here is not pa- perishable. So if you wanted to get it and say, "Oh gosh, we're going to be studying Russia in a few months," uh, it's going to be fine. Everything in there is going to be fine. Yeah. We always like to end the podcast with what we're into. Um, this week, we are into the Lego Builder book. Right. It's called Build It. Build It. So we bought a Lego classic set for our daughter for and, her birthday, and for this, the birthday. And this is the big box. It's got like it's the big, a bajillion it's the pieces. the classic box yeah. of just a big yellow um, there's a few different of them. The yeah. one we had has base plates in it, but basically it's the box that has the most number of pieces so, yeah. and you can build all kinds of different things with it. It doesn't have any specialty pieces. It's not a set with a, a, a specific way to put it together. It comes with an idea book. And if you look out there, there are other idea books. One of the, the ones that's very popular on Amazon is called the Lego idea book. But all it is is pictures of complicated things other people have built. And oftentimes they include special parts Mm -hmm. that are not in our classic set. So, oh, yeah, you could make that if you had this other specific sets, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't give you any instructions on how to make it. So Mm -hmm. the two things I wanted for our daughter was was that anything in the book she could make. Because I didn't want her to see something she couldn't build. Exactly. That's awful. And... Um, I wanted step-by-step instructions just the way you would get if you bought a Lego, like a Lego princess set or any of these other city or whatever, where it actually tells you step-by-step how to put the bricks together. That's what I wanted, but something for Lego classic. And it turns out there's this terrific series of books. There's like, I don't know, I think 10 about, volumes or something. Yeah, it was like 10, 12 volumes in there and they, they cover all different things. I think the first few were kind of generic stuff. Right. But then they get generic. into specific things like... There was a dinosaurs one or a frog. Monsters. Monsters there was or... um, things that go, uh, things that float, things that fly. Yeah. There's all kinds of them. It, they're really terrific. They've got, uh, they're they're not too uh, expensive as far as the book goes. They've got a lot of different um, builds per, I don't know what the build number is, but it's it's good. Yeah, I, I think there were about 40 or 50. I mean, we've gone through a few already and it's just, you know, I think it's two pages per build at the most. Right, about six panels, seven, eight panels. They're to do definitely it. the level. Of, our five year old can, can no, totally do that. No words. They they tell you they tell you the piece. They tell you where to put it onto the onto the item. They tell you how many of those pieces you need. Right. They tell you there's a full inventory list at the beginning with you know you need X each, number of quantity of yeah. each of these pieces. And then so you each can gather. step has a breakout of oh I need four of these square pieces or I need four of these angled pieces. And then it shows you exactly where to put them on your kit. And it's very clear, nice big cartoony drawing, kind of, you know, 3D modeling drawing of, of, of what to do. Very clear, very simple, very easy to follow. Mm-hmm. It's I, I, I've enjoyed it. I looked through the book. Um, I looked through all the designs. They're really fun. We've made a couple already. Um, just a great little, you know, idea book. Yeah. Especially... Uh, you know, like for for us, we're more seasoned, imaginative. You know, master builders. You know, uh, no. Have you seen that Lego show on Fox? We are not master builders. Okay, maybe there's we're no a- way. Has anybody else seen this Lego show? It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> those people. Those... Are, we're nowhere near that. We that's, like Lego. That's God tier Legoing over there. Okay, that <laughs> we we are we are mass we are the Emmets of the world here. So you know we can have a lot of fun, but you know our daughter she doesn't really understand. You know, oh, I'm trying to make something. She gets a little frustrated. Yeah, she she needs something prescriptive at, at well, just at to the get the starting, experience of building. Yeah, right at this starting age, she's not ready to innovate too too far yet she needs to get into that habit and so having these ideas and then you know she could build a giraffe and then do something extra Mm -hmm. with it but at least she has that base um plus it's really great because every you know it's numbered so she Mm -hmm. follows the steps in number order which i really like too so if if you've got a kid out there who's really into legos definitely check out the build it books i will have them in the show notes below a great little resource for you to kind of spur the imagination of a new Lego builder. Mm-hmm. Those really young Lego people. Yeah, great for great for first Lego builders. Yeah, great for first Lego builders. So go ahead and pick up a copy and expand and have fun with Legos. Thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey. Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook, 
and find us at Homeschool Together Podcast on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations. Until next time, happy homeschooling! It's Taco Tuesday! <laughs> Release the craggle! <laughs>